Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos about blueprint scripting in Unreal. And in this one, I'm going to talk about a thing called polymorphism. So if you've come across this before, you might not need to watch this video. Um, this is a programming concept to do with classes. So I don't know if you noticed when you've created a blueprint uh, class. Uh, so what I'm doing is just right-clicking the content area, and I'm choosing blueprint class. This box asks me to pick a parent class. And what this means is that it will take a class that's already built into Unreal, and it will give you all of the data and functionality that already exists in that class. And it's allowing you to extend that by adding more functionality onto it. Um, so it's very common uh, for you to uh, create classes that have the parent class actor. And an actor is a kind of object which can have a presence in the in the level, in the world. So this My Blueprint is uh, one of those. And this is a, a fairly simple blueprint that I've got set up here with just a, um, a little path that you can stand on and a collision box on here. And, and you might have seen things like this um, uh, in the event graph, and in fact, if you've been following through these uh, tutorials in order, you'll have seen this in the last video. Uh, you can do things like get actor transform. And that's referring to something that I haven't created as part of this class, but exists in the parent class, exists in the actor class. Uh, so the, I have the ability to access the stuff that's in the parent class. So in this way, every uh, Blueprint class that we create will be derived from, or we can say is a child of, at least one built-in class in Unreal. Uh, now, in the setup that I've got for this particular project that I'm showing you things in, let's just get rid of that because it's not being used and compile. I've actually made a change to the third-person character, which sits down in here. Um, so the third-person character, if we uh, roll over it, it tells us it's a blueprint class. It tells us that the parent class, hopefully you can see in that tooltip, is character. Um, so if you're going to have a third-person game, you're going to need the character, and there's a built-in class, which is character, which is derived in some way from actor at some point, but it has a whole load of extra stuff in there for uh, uh, having the skeletal mesh and the animations in there. Um, and in the third-person character um, in this template, they've added some stuff. But I've also added my own function in here, which is boost. And what this function does is, when this is triggered, uh, uses the character movement, and it's just it's adding what's called an impulse. This is just kind of a thrust upwards. Uh, so it will make the make the character jump when this happens. And I'm showing you that because we're going to access this. We're going to go back to the other blueprint and look at this uh, thing when act, event actor begin overlap. So when this uh, is triggered, it's triggered when another actor overlaps with this particular actor, which is this class, the uh, my little pressure plate. And the data that we get out of this event is a reference to the other actor. And we don't know what kind of thing that is. Well, actually we do, because there's only one kind of thing that can move about in our game, which is that third person player character. Uh, but the script doesn't know that. We know that. Uh, so it's giving us a reference to whatever it is that's, uh, that's there. So if I drag off here, and I want to make it so that if you step on the pressure plate, it triggers that boost, and I try and type in boost, it can't do it because boost isn't a function inside the actor class. It's inside the third-person character class. And so at this point, it thinks, well, this is an actor, but I don't know what else it is. And so you can, you, it can pass through because um, any object that's derived from an actor class, no matter how many generations it's derived from it, still looks like, or it can look like an actor class. And this is what, what the word polymorphism means. It's Greek for meaning uh, 
many shapes or many appearances and that the the basic idea is that child classes can look like their parent classes and the easy way to remember this is that children look like their parents um, and in this case uh, the data that's being passed through could be any kind of actor, as long as it's a kind of actor. But what we want to do to be able to access the information, uh, sorry, access that function to do the boost, is to tell it that we're expecting this to be uh, an instance of the third-person character. Um, and so what we uh, what we want to do to be able to access things in there is to use what's called a cast. Um, and if I type in cast to third person character it will attempt to do that cast which means we then have a reference to it as if as a third person character rather than as one of the parent classes uh, as the actor now it's possible that something different has been passed through here um, and so that this cast wouldn't work so if it, if i had a made another blueprint which was a kind of uh, a little rat that scuttled around um, that derived from actor uh, but doesn't derive from the third-person character class at all. When that overlaps and happens to step on this plate, this cast would fail because it's not a third-person character, it's a, a rat, whatever it is that I've created. As it happens, I don't have this rat. We know that it's going to be the third-person character, but this will only trigger out here if it's been a successful cast. And actually, you've got another pin here which you can do. you could do something different if the cast actually succeeded. So this is brought through this data. The other actor was overlapped. It's turned it into a third-person character. And we can then drag off that, and I can type in the, that function boost. And there it is now uh, to be able to use. Um, and let's just demonstrate that in action. So as I step onto the plate, it gives my character a little bump upwards. There we go. So that's the kind of quick look at... Uh, inheritance uh, for blueprints, and it's a quick look at this idea of polymorphism and, and the idea of casting. Uh, these are quite deep, -ish, um, complex uh, uh, concepts in some ways. So if you need to go through this again at some point later, once you've got more used to uh, using blueprints, then obviously feel free to do so. So that's it from me for now. Thank you.